Timey kangaroo down sport. Timey down to the bed. Can we really be singing Won't you give song? me some head, dear? Won't you give me some head? Just about stripped it. The hubby's just taking the last one off. Check out the rust. <laughs> In all honesty, it's not that bad that actually. It's nowhere near as bad as what I thought that was going to be. Got the back end to do. Right. Actually, I think we'll see it better when we've swept it out. We've got a. Here. I'm being summoned. We've got a hole there that needs patching. Great big hole! Uh uh. And that wheel arch was solid, wasn't it? There's a look, there is a couple of little holes. We'll give it a good clean up and see what it's like. But they're not major. And then, yeah, if you want to pull that out, we did come in this morning, it was pissing it down last night. So we have, we already knew the roof needed doing, so that just confirmed it, didn't it, love? Yeah. And then, quite a big one. It's, it's actually. Yeah. A couple of patches in there and the rest of it is pretty solid, cool yeah. Here. That'll have to be done. Yeah, I think we're better off sweeping it out and then we can see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll have that side done as well. And that back end. Common rust few, spots on the transit. A few holes in the back end, but yeah. We've got it stripped. Now the next plan is Trannies get it. always have big holes. They do, yeah. yeah. Get it. Sh okay. No, we've done the stripping. Get it clean, and then no welding's next, isn't it? Welding, yeah. yeah. Oh, you are noisy. Aye. It's very, very uh, fun with a toddler as well. <laughs> I've cleaned all the front out. Are you saying hi, darling? She's actually half dressed today. We're doing well. <laughs> she likes being naked. This one. So I've cleaned all the front, that was horrendously dusty and dirty. But I've given it a clean out. I'll do it again. With a brush, a hard brush. And uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's coming on. It's the start of our van conversion journey. <laughs> we just stood up at the hill. Well, the hubby is slaving away on the roof, if you can even hear me. <laughs> We're just going to have fun, Hi. sing some nursery rhymes. Hi. Hi. Oh, there's Daddy. Hi, Daddy. See Daddy in the corner. <laughs> Hard at work already. He's bought some fiberglass to sort the leaky roof out. So hopefully that won't take him too long. <laughs> right guys, I've got to say, this idea of having a viewing platform, stroke uh, roof rack, stroke get away from the wife and the kids because yeah. she doesn't like heights, like she's clinging on for dear life there, uh, can you push your cleavage out a little bit more so as we've got a bit of footage for Dave 2 vlogs, excellent. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I, I don't know. Dare you move? <laughs> Dare you move? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna be safe with that. Uh, I'm. I'm definitely gonna be safe having a uh, a sun deck up here because the wife won't come up. The the child's too short to reach. At least I hope she is. Naked again. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. oh my <laughs> god. She's worse than you. She's worse than you. Right guys. Anyway, this is what we're on with at the moment. This is this is a surprise that I didn't expect. Excuse the wind. Um, we're 
when we were bringing the van home, we found we had a, a leak in the roof. Now, this is at the front end of the cab. We also have here, running across the centre. I think what's been on the top of the van before has been a cherry picker. So we've got a big square that's been cut out of the roof. I never noticed it when uh, we came to look at the van, my fault. And yeah, it, it's been patched, but it's been patched rather badly. It's been patched with silicon sealer and uh, it all needs to be ground back to bare metal and then some fiber glassing. So that's gonna to be to do, definitely. Before we can even get a start on the floor, we need a watertight roof. And then there's a bit at the back of the van as well. Try and get the cleavage shot. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> give me the phone so I can get back down. So yeah, yeah, but I think basically what's happened is with the weight of the cherry picker being sat on the roof of the van, it's uh, split a couple of the seams. So a little bit of welding and uh, a little bit of fiberglass and the job will be good so that's something i didn't expect but hey ho who thinks to look up on the roof you'd think the roof's perfectly safe and perfectly sound but no a cherry picker hole never mind thanks guys uh-oh uh -oh. what's he doing Uh-oh. Oh my god. How did you do that? Grinder. Flicked a piece of metal up. You need to be Smack careful. me in the face. Oh. Fucking hell. <laughs> Could have been an eye. I think you need to go Could've and Could have been much worse. Yeah. It's a good Guys, thing you've got them on. always wear safety specs when you're doing stuff like this. But yeah, that's... Yesterday, the van got me there. This morning it got me there and now it's just got me again. It's determined to have blood out of me is this machine. Yeah, blood, sweat and tears. Uh, all mine. Right guys, I've uh, just been twatted in the ear. I've got a visitor. All right. Uh, I've just been twatted in the ear and... and uh, That's a piece of metal in his arm. <sighs> Every time he screams ow. ow up there, I'm shitting myself thinking something. Oh, that is disgusting. Right. Right, guys, I think I've found the reason why we've got a bit of a leak there. Very, very bad se seal, bad weld. Bad metal. It's bloody hard work this. And uh, yeah, obviously I'm up here. And there's the help. Right guys, managed to get most of the roof done and it started raining. So I'm gonna get cleaned up for the night. No small figure, what we're gonna use. This is one of them handy little hints and tips. A little bit of fairy liquid, a little bit of sugar. And not everybody carries small figure on the van. I certainly don't, but to get the hands nice and clean, This is ideal if anybody's been doing a quick fix on the van and they're absolutely plastered, nothing to clean your hands with, you want to get all that oil off, this is the way to do it. Tad more.
the life's just uh, called me over at the most inconvenient of moments. But this is uh, this is what the the wife does. She's not gambling. But this is what this is what she's doing. It's not gambling. But yeah, pretty big win there. Hundred quid, near enough. <laughs> so that's uh, that's basically it's what the uh, betting, by the way. yeah she's doing the match, match betting. And on the slots there, nearly a hundred quid. Um, almost done. Look at that. Huh? Nice and clean. A little bit of swarfig, swarfiger. If you haven't got it, then sugar and some fairy liquid. That'll get your hands lovely and sparkly. And I suppose I better do the face next. And uh, I might like. I might just leave Kirsty the sink. I think we have a layout sorted. Hubby's taken a little break from doing the welding and the prep on the outside, so we're just going to walk you through. We've got some pretend furniture in, and we've got the log burner that is currently being made. It isn't finished yet, obviously. <laughs> I'm not going to leave it no, looking like that. Everything's staying as it is. I'm not putting anything else in. All oh, right, we're just going to we're just going yeah, yeah. to live like Put this. The yeah. Down here. It doesn't matter about the holes in the floor. We'll be right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Get stuffed. That log there. Get oh, stuffed. Right. Yeah, that log is our chimney for the fire. <laughs> <laughs> We're just we're, kind we're, of trying to work it out. But anyway, so if you look where, where the hubby is, he's literally standing on what will be our bed. We're going to have a raised bed coming up to probably about there on the wall. And then Kaylin's will be underneath between the wheel arches. I'm really looking forward to how that turns out. Uh, she probably won't last there you know maybe six, you know a few years before she needs a bigger space but we'll work on it we'll work on it so oh, that's, that's the bed now i'm gonna stand in the bed and show you what else we've got planned so where's the wheel arch there so that is our porta potty <laughs> we're gonna have a little toilet just there sort of next to the bed and next to the fireplace <laughs> He's sat on the toilet right now, looking lovely. Kaylin's colouring the walls. <laughs> she won't be doing that when we've actually got everything done. So the kitchen is going to be where that box is, and um, probably a little bit, a little bit bigger, kind of up to up to where this yellow line is. And then we're going to have like a corner seating area. And we're going to have a make a table. Well, Hubby's going to make a table, and sort of have it so that it clips onto the back of the seat and comes out. We couldn't we couldn't do it over that bit because it would just stick out too far with the fireplace there. So that's why we're putting it over the seat to come out. So we've got two two a couple of seats to sit at the table, and then we're going to have a like a pull out stool. That's his cajon. Which it, it's multi-purpose, isn't it? That cajon. It works as a seat. A he put he puts his put beer beer, beer there, bottles in there. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It, it's an excellent table. And then <laughs> and also a drum for round when we go campfires. So that's kind of the layout that we've come up with for now. And this is what it'll look like as we walk in through the door. So we're gonna, the plan is to get the bed up first and then we'll see again what sort of space we've got. He's dying to show the fire pit. He has started recording a video of how he's made that. So if anybody's interested, that will be coming out, well, when that's finished. <laughs> We're just still working on that one. And he's put us a lovely little temporary sign up there. We have named named the van a lot of people do some people don't betty boondocker the hilarious adventures of betty boondocker <laughs> that's his that's idea <laughs> right so that's what we've got so far 
we needed some fun in between all that welding. So, you know, while he's doing the welding, I've got the toddler. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we thought we'd take a break and work on the layout. So there you go. Before I go, I forgot to say, um, I know that that space between the wheel arches isn't going to be suitable for Kaylin forever. So depending on, you know, how long we're in the van for... Uh, we will be making the corner sofa into like a slatted sort of bed so it'll just pull out and make a, a, a bigger bed here when she's a bit bigger. But for now, she'll have her own little room, kind of. Kennel. in uh, Yeah, kennel. <laughs> I'm calling it the princess pod. Her own little kennel under our beds. So there we I'm go. And the, the dogs, we have got the dogs and they'll have a kennel under the bed as well, but round the back. So, you know, they'll be free to roam all day and then in their little kennel at night. Anyway, guys, we'll crack on with the rest of the welding. <laughs> right, guys, we've started patching up the roof, um, giving it all a good clean off. And the first thing that I've treated it with is the Hammerite Cure Rust. It's available on Amazon. We'll leave the link in the description below. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. It, it kills all the rust off, gives a good surface to uh, get some adhesion with the resin. And the next thing that we're going to do is uh, a little bit more matting. As you can see, I've already done up along the front, started up here, and it's really easy to use this stuff. Really easy. The worst thing about it is cutting it. Huh? Stanley knife. Well, yeah, Stanley knife, scissors. Oh, Whichever you job. find easiest. Okay. And we get our resin on. too shy. There's a lot of holes to cover. Ideally you want to be wearing gloves. This is the hole where the cherry picker was. So it's all gonna have to be bonded all the way around. Make sure no water can get in, like it had been doing. What a fun and nice little project. keep applying you want ideally about two or three layers to cover something like this up I find it's best to dab it into position with the resin it's a better seal it's tighter into the little nooks and crannies down that line there and that spot on with that panel that you've just built don't ever say that anything's beyond your capabilities because it, it isn't 
You should believe in yourself. I believe in you. Believe in you too. Right, guys, we've managed to get it all fiberglassed. We've just run out of wire on the welder. So, well, we've still got a couple of hours daylight left. We're just going to paint the roof. The fiberglass over there is still a bit tacky, so I'm not going to paint over that just yet. And it wants a, a little bit of a sand down across there. Um, but yeah. It's all patched up. So hopefully that's going to be a waterproof roof. As you can see, we'll cut the wheel arch out and just need to get some panels up on the inner sill there. I'm going to rebuild all that. Get all that lot cleaned up. Got another bit just in the back of there. That's going to want patching. And then we've got these cleaned up. Hopefully ready for welding. Possibly sometime tomorrow, the day after, maybe. Same on this side. That's the thing with the transit. In fact, most fans, I've echoes at the same. They all go in the same place. Around the suspension on the uh, on the back end. And the back end itself. So yeah. There is a bit of welding but as you can see. We are starting to get there. That's not my crochet welding, by the way. <laughs> that guy there is an absolute hero. Aren't you, Scott? Absolute hero. He's a star, a gem. Right, guys. Thanks for watching, please remember to like, subscribe and uh, we'll catch up with you soon, see you later, bye.